Gwyn ME109Z High Speed Bomber. This project comprised two ME109 fuselages joined by a common center section, giving a total wing area of 255 square feet. A Yunkers Yumo A or B engine is installed in each fuselage, and the aircraft is normally intended to carry one 1,000 or one 500 kilogram bomb. The fuselage center lines are about 12 and a half feet apart. The all-up gross weight with one 1,000 kilogram bomb is 16,280 pounds. Span, 43 feet 6 inches. Length, 29 feet 8 inches. Height, 8 feet 10 inches. Speed at climb and combat rating. Sea level, 366 miles per hour with bomb. 374 miles per hour without bomb. At 26,200 feet, 456 miles per hour with bomb. 462 miles per hour without bomb. Rate of climb, at sea level, 3,900 feet per minute with bomb. 5,080 feet per minute without bomb. Range. Maximum continuous, 1,050 miles at 418 miles per hour. Maximum economical, 1,240 miles at 354 miles per hour. Takeoff run, 380 yards. Landing speed, 99 miles per hour. ME-2092. The original ME-209 was a propaganda speed record aircraft intended to set a world speed record and was not really intended to be a serious fighter aircraft, although it was dressed up as one for propaganda purposes. The ME-2092 was intended as a replacement for the ME-109. The undercarriage, which was always a problem with the ME-109, was of a new design. The intended engine was the Daimler-Benz DB603A, but because of its limited availability, the Junkers Yumo 213A series was used during development. Span, 35 feet 11 inches. Length, 31 feet 11 inches. Height, 13 feet 1 inch. Wing area, 185 square feet. Empty weight, 7,361 pounds. Gross weight, 9,006 pounds. Maximum speed, 421 miles per hour. Service ceiling, 36,000 feet. Wing loading, 49 pounds per square foot. Armament, 130 millimeter MK 108 and two 13 millimeter MG 131 machine guns. Because performance was no better than the ME 109 already being produced, it was decided to cancel the project. ME 409 the Messerschmitt ME409 was a supposed design for two ME209 fuselages joined by a common wing section, like the BF109Z. The existence of this design is very questionable. ME309 the ME309 was another airplane designed to replace the ME109. It had a pressurized cockpit and a retractable nose wheel. The nose gear strut twisted through 90 degrees during retraction to a flat orientation under the engine. Once again, the performance was hardly any better than the ME109 and did not warrant a place in the production line. Span. 36 feet 3 inches. Length 31 feet. Height 12 feet 10 inches. Wing area 
179 square feet. Empty weight, 7,782 pounds. Gross weight, 9,370 pounds. Power plant, one Daimler Benz DB603G with 1,726 horsepower. Maximum speed, 455 miles per hour. Cruising speed, 413 miles per hour. Range, 680 miles. Service ceiling, 39,000 feet. Wing loading, 52 pounds per square foot. Armament, two 20 millimeter MG151s, four 13 millimeter MG131 machine guns, and one 30 millimeter MK108. ME509. The ME509 is basically a mid engine version of the ME309. With a new fuselage design, with the pressurized cockpit being moved well forward. A Daimler Benz 605B engine was buried in the fuselage behind the cockpit and drove a three bladed propeller. This propeller was on an extension shaft that passed beneath the cockpit, similar to a Bell P39. The low mounted wing was tapered with rounded wing tips. ME309 components were to be used as much as possible, such as tricycle landing gear, vertical tail assembly, similar to the one used for the ME309V1. Armament had not been decided on, but two MG131 13mm machine guns and two MG151 20mm cannon were the likely candidates. The advantages were better cockpit visibility and relocating the engine weight away from the nose gear, which was important since the ME309's nose gear had collapsed several times. The development of the 509 disappeared with the 309 program. Span, 37 feet. Length, 32 feet 7 inches. Height, 13 feet 1 inch. ME609. Another development of the ME309 project was the ME609, which was basically two ME309 fuselages joined together with a new center wing section, into which the two inboard landing gear retracted, with the two nose wheels retracting to the rear and rotating 90 degrees to lie flat beneath the engines. The engines were Daimler Benz 603 or 605 liquid cooled engines. The pilot sat in a cockpit located in the port fuselage, with the starboard cockpit canopy being fared over. Two versions were envisioned a heavy fighter and a high speed bomber. In the fighter version, two MK 108 30 mm cannons and two MK 103 30 mm cannons were projected as the armament with a provision for two additional MK-108 30mm cannons mounted beneath the center wing section or under the outer wing sections. In addition, either one 500kg bomb or two 250kg bombs could be carried, also beneath the center wing section. The bomber version would have reduced armament with only two MK-108s. Extra fuel, 1,500 kilograms could be carried in the fared over starboard cockpit, and the bomb load was to consist of two 1,000 kilogram bombs which were to be carried underneath each fuselage. Span 52 feet 6 inches, length 31 feet 11 inches, height 11 feet 3 inches, empty weight 11,660 pounds, loaded weight. 14,520 pounds. Maximum speed, 472 miles per hour. With many of these aircraft, it's very difficult to tell 
which ones are imaginary and which ones are really designs that were contemplated. The ME409 is a good example. I don't think the design ever existed at all. The ME409 was the original designation of the ME155B, which was a high-altitude aircraft intended to shoot down B-29s once they reached Germany, which of course never happened. I think of all these imaginary designs, this Blomund Voss design is my favorite. With four engines, two turning and two burning, and it must have looked pretty strange to be sitting in that middle cockpit. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contexts. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built.